So now then, in English, if you could just summarize some of the main points、um, regarding freedom of expression and their relevance, particularly for worrying trends you've seen in Latin America. I have four main preoccupations for freedom of expression. <clears throat> the first one is the growing use of criminal law to intimidate or censor、uh, communicators and, and journalists, especially the use of the crime of defamation, which for me should never be used by public officials. Every public official has to understand that public office comes with public scrutiny, and public scrutiny goes with public criticism. And they should never feel bad about being criticized, whether they understand it's valid or not. That should never be censored. And criminal law has a chilling effect, has a silencing effect. So there should never be an excess of use of criminal law. The second one preoccupation is the growing violence against journalists. Of course, we are with things of Mexico or Honduras, other critical countries, but it's happening throughout all Latin America and even in South America, especially in the zones of forestry or natural resources or mining corporations or big corporations, environmental disasters, where journalists play a key role in informing the public, and they, they are subject to threats, to intimidation. And, and to more and more violence, there is a growing trend to this, and I think there is a responsibility of the state to guarantee the safety and the security of journalists in covering the news, as well as there is a right of the people to be informed by a free press. Thirdly, <clears throat> I think there is another risk in the accumulation of media enterprises, the, it's sort of a monopolic trend. Of course, in the world we think about Rupert Murdoch and what happened in Britain, but that same phenomenon is happening in Latin America and in South America. There is a progressive accumulation of, of media enterprises, and this violates the principle of diversity and plurality, diversity of means and plurality of ideas and thought that can actually give the population that listens the possibility of drawing their own conclusions and building their own opinions. And I think this we have to defend very strongly. Here, I also always mention that beyond the big monopolies, we also have the responsibility of the state to guarantee alternative means of communication, like community broadcasting, radio or television. Many countries still in their legislation do not recognize community broadcasters, and and the need to have a special mechanisms and to give the licensing for the frequencies and to recognize them as journalists, as community journalists in in the exercise of their task. This is crucial in all the countries of of. of Of this region of South America, because it's the real expression of democratic thought and the possibility of utilizing the new technologies now with the digitalization of communication, the states can actually have a reserve of frequencies to give out in in new alternatives. And finally, the fourth is the use of internet. I clearly, my latest report to the Human Rights Council and to the General Assembly, is on the use of internet as one of the biggest mechanisms. On freedom of expression, how the traditional standards apply equally to internet. You don't have to develop new standards, but there is a growing preoccupation by politicians and leaders and political leaders of internet because they see the tremendous power it has.、Uh, Egypt and, and, and Tunisia demonstrated what democratic tool it can become in the hands of young people. But at the same time, obviously there are risks. There's risk in misuse. The The cyberbullying, or the hackers, or yes, and it is right that the state has to be concerned and guaranteeing security. But the biggest element of security is in building a very open and democratic society where everyone feels free to express their opinions. This is what's really going to consolidate any society in the world and actually going to make it safe and stronger to confront all those that want to abuse the, the, the public space. I think. Democracy, as the Prime Minister of Norway said after the horrible incidents, we have to consolidate the democratic model as a response.